I'm back at the National Inventors Hall of Fame in Washington, D.C., and the inventor that was just inducted into the Hall of Fame this year that we just weren't learned about was William Warner, who was famous for the digital nonlinear editing system, but there was something else he was famous for. That's one of the benefits of having um, an inventor that's currently alive that you can ask questions. They ask, hey, do you have anything else really cool laying around you want to show us? And he said, well, I do. So let's visit that 70s room and travel back in time. This is a whistle system. So in that 70s room, after a car accident left him hospitalized, Bill Warner shared a room with a young man whose neck injury prohibited the use of his arms and legs. He was a quadriplegic. Warner recognized his roommate's daily struggle to perform tasks, such as turning on the lights or talking on the phone, and this drove Warner to develop a life-changing solution called the whistle system. First, let's take a moment and appreciate the 70s room as it is. I think we used to have that lamp in my kitchen. I think one of my aunts had these orange butterflies on her wall. I really like the lamp. The fan is super cool and the console TV with Popeye playing. But here's what we're here to learn about, the whistle system. This is something that Warner, Warner had sitting in his basement when they asked him if there was anything else he wanted to contribute. So he went down there, got it up and running, like polished up. And here's how it works. Follow these steps to bring the room to life. So before getting started, make note of the number corresponding to the action like you'd perform. For example, I've been turning the TV on and off. I find that kind of entertaining. So when this number cycles to one, I will whistle at a low tone and it will turn the TV off. Here's my evidence. TV is on. Let's wait until it hits a four. I start whistling right around three. Oops, I whistled too soon, that turned the light on. Oops, I whistled too late, that didn't do anything. Sometimes it takes a couple tries, especially if there's ambient noise already going on, like the TV volume. Sure enough, turned it off. Let's see if we can turn that lamp off. That's a number three. So we'll wait till it cycles back around. Nope, a little too late. There we go, it shut it off. I think this is absolutely amazing. So first you have to whistle into the microphone while turning the pitch knob. When your pitch is detected, an indicator will light up. When the number corresponding to the action you wish to perform appears, while using the same tone, you whistle. I'm sorry, whistle using the same tone, not while using the same tone. To change outputs without whistling, you can press the input button when the desired number you want to control appears. So someone with hands or with mobility is able to use this. And I think this is really cool too. Hi, Nancy in Florida, how are you? Um, but God, can you imagine, they asked this inventor that they just were gonna induct into the National Inventors Hall of Fame for creating the coolest editing system for video, what else he had laying around, and he came up with this, this amazing invention, created just to help a guy that he met in the hospital. How awesome is that? Anyway, signing off for now, I'll be back in a minute with another inventor.